Roger Cook here. Well, welcome to session number 51 of the Mastering Mandelbulb 3D Formula Tutorial Series. Now, what I wanted to do in this session is to talk about the JIT uh, editor. All right, now JIT, J-I-T, stands for Just In Time. It is a it's a tool that's built into the Mandelbulb 3D application that allows us to edit non-compiled formulas and to write new formula scripts. Now, uh, I, if you take a look at the screen here, I have reset. So I am back to uh, when Mandelbulb application would be opened uh, with the default formula of integer power. Now, this integer power is a compiled formula script, and so we can't edit it, at least not with the JIT compiler. We would have to have the original code in order to modify the internal code or the script of the formula. We don't have that code, all right? So this is a compiled formula, and you can't edit a compiled formula. Uh, let's just see if we can take a look here. Um, let's just pick anything. This is the this is the folder for the uh, that comes along with the Mandelbulb 3D application installation. Um, let's see here. All right. Well, let's pick this gear ifs.m3f. Now these are all compiled formula scripts. We can't edit these. That, that's my point. All right, so let's uh, let's open that with Notepad. All right, and you see here. All right, this is the formula script. Now here's our options. Okay, often referred to as properties, and here is the code, uh, and all that gibberish there. That's actually the uh, the uh, the hexadecimal. Uh, equivalent of a uh, of a compiled uh, code. Here's the description. All right, and then here's the author. All right, so we can't edit a a, a compiled formula. Now let me show you. Let me show you what I mean. So we're we're on the integer power, and if I go to this JIT button and I press it, you see here that the edit, the edit. JIT compiled formula can't be edited because it's already compiled and we don't have the what's called the source code where the uncompiled code to be able to edit it. We can create a new formula script uh, but that's a topic for a little later on in the session. Now all right so I, I think we've pretty much established that we cannot uh, edit a compiled formula. But we can edit, using the JIT editor tool, a, a non-compiled. Now, an example of a non-compiled, let's get, the, um, let's get the, uh, the file manager back up here. You see here that included with the Mandelbulb installation is a number of JIT underscore EM formula scripts, okay? Now, uh, I'm not entirely certain where these formula scripts came from, but it was a, uh, a person who had developed a number of scripts, and at some point they were included in the Mandelbulb installation. Now, what's interesting is, is that these uh, JIT JMs, they do not show up in our lists until we call them. All right, more on that in a minute. All right, so let's get back here. So this is a JIT, um, uh, 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 this is a, an uncompiled. Let's, let's prove it. I'm going to open this up in Notepad. And now here, you remember we saw code begin and end, okay? There is the code right there, all right? That is an uncompiled formula script, which means that we can edit it. Let me show you. So let's go, all right, so let's do this. Let's, um, what we could do here is we can, come on, get off there. 
we're going to use this, and I'm going to open that up. So I'm going to open that up. I'm going to go to the installation folder of my Mandelbulb, and I'm going to go into this folder, and um, let's uh, let's pull up. Um, hmm, let's box bulb. Okay, let's open that. So, okay, so I have, there it is, come on, there it is. So it loaded into my bandle bulb application. Now let's go ahead and execute it, calculate it. All right, you can see it's coming in. All right, this is my bulb box, and I, th I think what's going on here is we're just a bit too close to it, but that's pretty cool. All right, that's good enough for now to, to illustrate uh, the JIT editor. Now, now with this uncompiled uh, formula that uh, has been loaded, now if I go to my JIT editor, I can edit it. So I'm going to click on that. So here is my JIT editor tool. Now you'll notice over here, here's our parameters. Uh, here's constants. There are no constants uh, assigned and our options. All of this in here is the script. Now you'll note here, uh, if you remember the notepad, all right, here is our code, all right? So what's interesting about this is that this is an uncompiled uh, formula that isn't really included in the Mandelbulb application in terms of the, 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 the formula category dropdowns until you call it. Then they'll be listed in the dropdowns. But now, all right, let's, uh, let's take this for an example here. Let's... Um, Let's find something here. Let's take this. Um, let's take this uh, theta line right here. Let's just kind of prove something here. Now there is a two in there. All right, that's a value of two. Now what what this is doing? It's saying what this what this code line is saying is take the variable called theta and assign. All right. The colon equals is an assign operator. This is all Pascal, by the way. This is Delphi Pascal language. All right, and assign this parameter, uh, I'm sorry, this uh, variable that has been uh, the result of the, the value of that, uh, of that, uh, that uh, variable is the sq underscore xz times y, and then times two, all right? And then this uh, semicolon, that's the end of the statement. So that's what that line means. Now, let's just kind of prove that we can edit this thing. I'm gonna replace that two with, um, I don't know, let's do an eight, okay? Now I'm gonna save and exit. If I was to cancel an exit, it immediately will shut down the JIT editor. Even if I have a change, there's no warning. So save and exit. Yes, overwrite. I'm overwriting the other formula. Now let's calculate this. Now keep in mind now that this is a two that has been changed to an eight. So I anticipate that I'm going to see a change here in my graphic. I'm not entirely sure where that change is, but I have modified the graphic. So this illustrates that we we can uh, we can actually uh, edit a uh, a formula script. All right. Now let's uh, let's get back into this JIT here. If I if I do this and edit, it's going to open up the formula that's currently selected. I'm going to get down here. I'm going to find that 8. And I'm going to put it back to 2. And I'm going to save and exit. Yes. And I'm going to recalculate. Now, while that is updating, uh, what, what I want to do is take a few more minutes. We're going to run over time on this, but it's okay. 
I'm going to take a few more minutes and just talk about the creating a new formula script. Now, I do not anticipate that um, you and or I are going to dive into creating new scripts, but I do want to show you that the tool is available. Click on the JIT, the JIT button, and click New. Now, in here, you can assign properties. Uh, let's say property one. Uh, make it uh, a single and make it a three. So I've assigned a property. I can assign constants. I can assign options. Now, in here, this is where you're going to write your code. Now, keep in mind that this is Pascal. That's pretty bad code right there. That's not going to work. Uh, but this is Pascal. And then what you do is you can save it. Uh, now, you need, this, is, this is the name. All right, my new formula. All right. Uh, usually you want the convention of starting with the JIT to indicate that it is an uncompiled uh, formula script that does, is not uh, native uh, to the Mandelbulb 3D application. And certainly you can you can uh, make these scripts available to other Mandelbulb 3D uh, application users and they can load it in and they can run it. So uh, getting into the actual code is well beyond uh, this, uh, uh, this tutorial series, but I wanted to let you know that you do have the ability to, uh, to create formula scripts. Now, let's just, let's test something here. If I do, I made a bunch of changes here. If I do a cancel and exit, it's all gone. So be very careful with that. There is no confirmation when you cancel and exit. You've just lost all your work. All right? So uh, we're over time in this session, but that's okay. Because this is, uh, this is important information. You do have, in review, you do have the ability to edit an uncompiled uh, formula script. You can edit the code. You can edit the, uh, the properties. You can come in here and you can edit to make that uh, default uh, uh, change the value and make a new default uh, value that would show up on your interface. All right. So if you use a formula a lot, if it's, uh, if it's not a compiled formula, you can uh, alter the default properties, default values of the properties. All right, so you can edit, uh, you can edit the code, you can modify it, you can play with it. If it doesn't work, you'll know, and then you can go back in there and edit. All right, so you can, with the JIT editor, you have the ability to edit uh, uncompiled uh, Mandelbulb 3D formula scripts, and you have the ability to create new scripts that you can use for yourself or share with others. Okay. All right, I think that puts us in really good condition uh, in terms of having covered uh, a great deal of this uh, formula-related functionality. I think we're ready to... Um, bring this tutorial series number two to a conclusion, which we'll do in the next session. I'll see you there.